Wagwan Massive and Crew DJ Cool Breeze here once again with another tutorial in Record Box DJ. All right, this is Record Box DJ 5.02, I believe. Um, there's this new feature called Phrasing, which allows you to um, sort your tracks by phrases. So you have a chorus, verse, chorus, and all that good stuff. So one of the first thing you need to do when um trying to use phrase mixing is actually go to uh, your settings and go to the view tab and go all the way down to show uh, phrase so you go to show phrase which you can either show phrase in enlarge waveform or phrase in full waveform I'm gonna choose phrase in full waveform I like it better this way so once you have that set now what you want to do now is um in order to f to see phrases on your track, you need to reanalyze your files. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, reanalyze this track here and um, see if the phrases will come up. So go ahead and go analyze track, and you wanna click phrase. If you already had your um, beat BPM and beat grid set, and you don't want those to be affected, you can uncheck these two blocks, and just for the phrase if you want that. So. I have phrase checks so I'm going to go ahead and uh, analyze and that should take a couple seconds depending on the type of track or the length of the track whatever so once the phrase is finished analyzed you will see this small waveform right here to show that this track has phrase so when you go ahead and you load this track you will see this new display on your um, on your waveform which shows you the verse chorus chorus verse uh, so far while using phrase mixing it has not been accurate I've never loaded a track where it actually give me accurate phrasing in a sense so I don't know if um, it's too early to be using this feature so you can as well edit this phrase just like you would edit your um, BPM information or your grid information so this section to the right of the uh, track edit window has to do with your phrase editing so if you want to go ahead and uh, you notice if, if say the intro is too short with the automatic analysis you can actually stretch that intro so you go ahead and you click on it then you drag this all the way out and it will actually uh, lengthen your intro if if that makes sense so that you can also say uh, the automatic phrase mixing identify this portion of the track as say a verse 2 what you can do is click on this portion and if it's not verse 2 say it was verse 1 you can just go ahead and uh, click this drop down and you click whatever that is and it will change it to verse 1 same thing for chorus if it's not the chorus and say it is for argument's sake in this case the outro you go ahead and click outro and it will say it is the outro in that point so it's um a very new feature i mean i can see where it might come in handy if you have your tracks correctly set up in phrases you can actually just move your cursor along these lines and identify different positions in them also a next thing it has with it also you can actually cut the phrases so say here would be showing um for for example purposes that this is a verse when you know that it is actually two verses you can go ahead and select cut and just use the scissors and mark the portion you want to cut so you can always play along the timeline and say i want to cut there i just go ahead and i'll click the scissors and now it cut the verses into two and now i'm able to actually rename this verse to say a verse four or whatever i choose it to be so that's the introduction to phrase mixing in record box dj hope this video was helpful if you're interested just check out the new record box dj feature leave a comment below like and subscribe to the channel and invite a friend once again dj cool breeze one love